Hello, I am Zarkoon, this is World of Warships Legends, and today we are going to take a look at the new armor viewer that was just added to the game. I'm going to show you how to access that armor viewer, and I'm going to tell you what you can use it for. So, let's take a look at the Nelson, whose armor scheme I'm already somewhat familiar with. We're going to take a look at the viewer itself, and we're going to examine some key parts of the Nelson's armor scheme. To get to the armor viewer, go to your port, ship options, upgrades and loadout, and now at this top tab where it says upgrades, loadout, stats, you'll see there's a new tab for armor. And this is what it looks like. It defaults to a view to show the ship's entire armor scheme. And obviously it's divided into sections here that you can scroll through. And each section is divided into a number of subsections. You can use the directional pads to navigate that. We can look, for example, at the fore and aft armor. Here we're on the bottom. We can see this little yellow strip of 40 millimeters on the bottom, which honestly is not super useful information, but if we scroll up just to the fore and aft end armor plating, we can see that the bow plating on the Nelson is 25 millimeters, and it's a substantial section of the bow, extremely big. A little bit smaller on the aft section, but also 25 millimeters. And this is one thing that you can use the armor viewer to determine. So there are some key armor values as far as calculating armor piercing overmatch potential. And that is what we are concerned about right here. So if you're looking at a battleship and you're looking at the bow and stern plating and you see it says 25 millimeters, what you can do is take that value or any bow or stern armor value multiply by 14.3. You do that, I think you get something in the range of 370 something, 25 times 14.3. That will tell you that any ship with guns bigger than 370 or whatever it is, bigger than 370 millimeters will overmatch this section of the Nelson's armor. That means if a battleship with 15 that is 380 millimeters or 16 406 millimeter guns shoots armor piercing at this section this green bow section of the Nelson the armor piercing shells will penetrate this section regardless of the angle and then if we remove this armor and remove everything else and just look at this last section which shows us the Citadel we can see that the Nelson Citadel is pretty highly exposed. It sits out of the water. And this front section right here, just imagine a shell going right through this bow. It's going to come to the flat surface of the Citadel armor and penetrate it. So that is how Citadels are scored through the Nelson's bow. And if you look at this little section, it will show you where the Citadel is on pretty much any ship. You can see that the Citadel starts at the Nelson's frontmost turret and then extends all the way to just about the last secondary turret. So if you get it broadside, you aim in this center mass of the ship here. Pretty easy for you to score a Citadel. But there's another thing. We can look at the, not the casemate armor, but the armor belt. Notice this yellow section here on the belt armor. It is 32 millimeters. Now that is not capable of being overmatched by 15 or 16 inch guns. I think 32 millimeters times 14.3 is 457 something millimeters. That means you need guns bigger than 457 millimeters to overmatch this. And again, overmatch means penetrate regardless of angle. So only the Yamato could overmatch the Nelson's belt armor. Anything else can't, which means if the ship is angled and 15 or 16 inch guns hit this armor belt, they can ricochet or shatter or not penetrate. And of course, 
you do have to keep in mind the ricochet angles 0 to 45 degree will give you no ricochet chance 45 to 60 degrees will give you a chance for a ricochet and then 60 to 90 degrees is auto ricochet territory now of course if you're angled 60 to 90 degrees then most likely a battleship shooting at the Nelson is just going to penetrate that front bow armor and overmatch it but you'll widen that angle to roughly 45 50 degrees suddenly it looks like the side of your ship is a much juicier target and you can get battleships you can bait them into hitting this 32 millimeter side armor thereby bouncing their shells and mitigating any damage you take you can also look at the deck armor here which has a maximum value of 32 millimeters on the top and 25 millimeters on the bow and stern that can tell you which ships or which part of your ship is vulnerable to HE shells now in order to figure that out you take the armor value and you multiply by six that will give you the caliber of HE shells that can penetrate that specific part of the ship so the Nelson is actually quite vulnerable to most HE shell penetrations with this lightly armored scheme then again it has the super heal to mitigate that kind of damage again in order to figure out which HE shells can penetrate which part of your ship you take the armor value and multiply by six most HE shell penetration in the game is calculated by taking the caliber of guns and dividing by six to figure out the armor that the HE can penetrate this rule doesn't apply to every ship for example the German battleships and German cruisers get to take their gun caliber and divide by four to figure out what they penetrate and the Akizuki with its 100 millimeter guns gets a one-fifth penetration coefficient multiplier whatever you call it meaning that the Akizuki can penetrate 25 millimeters of armor which means if I guess you come up against a Nelson in an Akizuki and you're shooting HE at it shoot at the bow shoot at the stern and you should be able to penetrate that with your high explosive also the very lightly armored superstructure which as you can see has a minimum value here in the blue of 16 millimeters that should be easy to penetrate for pretty much any destroyer in the game so you can see just how valuable this armor viewer is it gives you vital information like the location of the citadel the thickness of armor on key parts of the ship such as the bow and the stern and the side plating as well as the deck and the superstructure and if you take the time to study this and you know how to calculate overmatch with the 14.3 number and HE shell penetration this armor viewer can tell you a lot in terms of how to protect your ship and if you want to look at ships that you're fighting against and see how their armor looks it can help you determine where your shots are best placed on the ship so there's a quick look at the armor viewer for you and some tips about how to use it hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful if so give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already thank you so much for watching I will see you next time goodbye